my name is Zachary Siegel. I'm a senior at Lebanon Trail High School, and this is my day in the life of e-learning. Every great day starts with a great meal, and before we do anything at all, we have got to cook some breakfast. Now that we've ate our eggs and drank our coffee, it's really important that you set up a workstation to start your school week somewhere away from maybe your bedroom or a game room, but somewhere that you can really focus in on your schoolwork and not be distracted by anything in your house. I like to make a list every morning before I start, just of little goals that I set for myself throughout the day that I want to accomplish by the end of it. I also like to make a list of the Zoom meetings I have planned for today. Today I only have an English Zoom with my teacher just to go over some things that I have a few questions on. And I have my best buddies chapter and advisor meeting with my vice president just to touch base on a few things that are going on. Here I have all the tabs of all my individual teachers for where they have put their work for the week. This has made it really easy uh, to have an agenda online somewhere that shows what I need to accomplish, when I need to accomplish it, and when I can contact my teachers if I may need some help. Because this e-learning process is new to everybody, I wanted to chat with one of my teachers, Miss Smith, who teaches my English teacher, to get their opinion on how they thought the e-learning process was going and just to catch up. So I am Miss Smith. I'm an English teacher at Lebanon Trail High School. So I just wanted to bring you here today, Miss Smith, obviously to check in with you. I haven't talked to you in a while being out of the classroom, but I wanted to hear kind of your opinion on uh, how e-learning's going for you. Um, it's been relatively easy for me because I've been teaching online um, for several years now for a college. So um, I was pretty used to um, Canvas and the different things that you can do online. And through this entire process of e-learning, have you encountered any, any tips that maybe you can share to parents that can help, how can they best assist their students? So for parents, uh, I think the biggest thing is just checking, um, depending on you know, the various schools, I know I think schools are doing it um, maybe in different ways. Um, I know with LT, we have the page that you go to and then you click on the teacher's name and it takes them to the weekly module um, or the weekly assignment template, um, which then says, you know, this is all the things you need to do. Um, so for parents to just be on that, um, it's open, it's accessible to anyone. Um, they don't have to have, you know, their student login or anything like that. So just checking that, making sure that they're keeping up with what is their students supposed to be working on? Well, I really appreciate you taking this time to kind of fill us in from a teacher's perspective about the e-learning process. While it is my senior year of high school, I really do believe my teachers have made it really easy for me to continue my education at home by building in really, really intuitive lesson plans, getting us excited for learning, and still touching base and staying in communication. I think throughout this entire process, being communicated by my teachers has really made a huge difference in my process and my uh, drive with doing at-home learning. Since it's such a beautiful day outside, I like to take this opportunity to step away from the computer and take a wonderful walk around my neighborhood, maybe jog a little bit. It's so pretty outside and it is still safe to go walk around your neighborhood. It's really important throughout this entire e-learning and staying at home in quarantine that you stay active, you stay healthy, just because staying at home is not good for anybody. It's good to get some fresh air, get out of the house a little bit. Now that I'm back from my run, I've completed a few of the things on my to-do list. All I have left is environmental science and to make dinner for the rest of my family. Um, that's basically the day in the life of my time in quarantine. I hope each and every one of you guys is staying safe. Seniors, I know this is not what we were expecting for our senior year, but let's show them that 2020 pride and get through it like trailblazers that we are. I hope everyone stays safe and healthy, and thank you for watching Day in My Life.